And I think that limit was added because generally, as I have here, you have a very small lots, so it's a, a postage stamp kind of, uh, of garden space. So with much higher power levels, um, you, you could, you know, borders are, are, are not right on top of the, the home, then you can apply to up to 1500 watts. Do you remember the first break that you had? I do. That the, the first one that I purchased was a Kenwood TS140S, which was a brand new uh, radio, uh, that, uh, or a new model that it came out. And uh, it was a, a new radio that I, I purchased from one of the local uh, stores to here. Um, and it was a, a very big purchase for me because I, I had uh, started to coil the big bass that you were mentioning. They're extremely narrow band, they have 20 or 30 hertz uh, coverage before they need to be retuned. This is a broad band receiver that, that goes from sort of, uh, 1 megahertz up to 30 megahertz and it doesn't need to be, to be retuned at any point in that range. Does the outside diameter of the loop itself make a difference in terms of it being broadband or can you make this receiving loop out of wire, out of you know, 14 gauge wire? I haven't looked at the logistics or the theory uh, in too much detail uh, about these things.